purple up on the outside with my main color to a little bit of fun is coming up. And then this little bit with a little bit of accent of a color. So here we are putting on the first coat of my base color, of this nude color. I'm putting on my long nails here. So yeah, it kind of matches my skin tone a little bit. But like, kind of interesting. And then I'm putting a second coat on. Because you need very much, usually two coats of every color. Sometimes three. This one, I'm doing about two coats here. So I'm getting all that nice. And now I am putting on the sparkle. This simple scattered hollow from Hollow Taco. Really like it. It's nice when you just want a slight sparkle on something. And you and that's something that's nice. And then I come to the accent color, this gray. It's a very, very cheap gray polish. It's not very good, but it's good for the little accent when you want to like do a swishy swish. Maybe use it for a stamp. I've never actually done that, but what I'm doing here, I'm just doing a little bit of an accent, kind of um like abstracty, where I just use the brush strokes. And now I'm going into stamping here. First, I'm doing animal print of a zebra. And I'm getting that on one of my nails here. Stamping it nicely. My nails are a little long, so I do have to kind of stamp twice on them somewhat to make sure I get them nice and perfect for the, for the most part. And all that awesomeness is, as you can see there. Look at pretty nice, that zebra. Yeah. Now to this other animal print. I'm not sure what this one's supposed to be. Maybe it's like a turtle or something like that. I don't know. This is the one I'm actually not sure what it is. If you know what this one is, let me know down in the comments. And then I'm doing snake skin. Yeah. That's another one I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Nice snake skin. I think snake skin looks pretty nice if I do say so as well. That actually is pretty interesting. And now to top it all off, I'm putting my top coat, my thick gel-like top coat from Remy London that holds it all in and does not smudge my stamping at all or usually much at all and now let's see the snake skin get topped with a nice glossiness because who doesn't like to see some nice glossiness i know i do and then this one that i think might be turtle shell i don't know topping that one off as well looking pretty nice as i hold the design in so there it is if you enjoyed that hit that thumbs up. Till next time, sparkle, sparkle, bam!